Hi, this is Kara, and this is DIY on the House. It is time for spring planting around here, and I love, really love decorating with flowers, and I have a cute little country porch, and always in search of a different kind of planter. So today we are going to make a planter out of pots that I got from Dollar Tree. So the total investment on this project was $10, and the end result looks like a million bucks. And so I can't wait to uh, get started. I'll get started. I'm going to have to pull Ross in for some reinforcements on some of it. Uh, but but uh, in the end, super simple, super cheap, and super adorable. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to DIY on the House and come back often for more videos that we have planned. For this project, you need nine six inch flower pots. I found these at Dollar Tree. So the total investment for those were $9. You will need a empty lemonade canister. The small uh, short kind will work perfect. You will need E6000 glue, a, a Sharpie, and a method to cut the plastic on the lemonade. A canister. So I have a saw and a knife. Not sure which one is going to work the best. You're also going to need to have an assortment of about seven or eight clamps to clamp your project together. Additional supplies that you're going to need to have, you're going to need to have four short screws, a drill gun, and some bolts with nuts on them to attach the pots together. Okay, the big picture of what we are going to do, we need five pots on the bottom tier, three on the middle tier, and then one t pot to top it off. So the challenge I had was trying to figure out how to hook these together. I've came through everything in my mind and we are going to try putting this lemonade canister in the middle and gluing each of the pots to the canister. The canister is not as tall as the pots, so my theory, and we're doing this together, um, my theory is to turn the pots upside down. We want the solid portion to be um, what the next row glues to. So I needed to come up with a plastic surface that the next row could glue to. So since the bottom is the top right now, I have them turned upside down, this is going to be on the top side. And if we push them all together, we should be able to get a pretty good attachment to at least a few of them. So my theory is we're going to put glue between each of the five and glue between the, the, one, the pots that'll touch and uh, then go on to the next step, seeing how we go. I marked a Sharpie marker be on each one to know where they're going to be touching up and I put a bead of E6000 glue and then I took these little clamps and I'm holding them together because it says that it takes 24 hours to dry so I am just wanting to make sure that my the tops of my um, pots are flesh and even so I'm going to find some sort of a weight to stick down on that there Okay, and I'm going to slide this one out of the way and we will do the same for the next. Going to do the same thing. This one um, is going to take three uh, pots and put them together. So we're going to draw a mark where they line up there. A mark lines up here. And a mark lines up here. That should work. Okay, I took the, the clamps off of this and it is really solid. Uh, but we just know that these are going to be outside in the elements and fearful that that glue might not hold. Um, because the big picture is this sits here and this sits here. And so you need to be able to have a base. So I brought Ross in and he is going to solve my problem. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I just picked up a little quarter inch bolts uh, from the local hardware store and the nuts to go with these were um, nuts were 11 cents and the uh, bolts were um, 18 cents. So they're really cheap. And then I just got three screws or four screws to uh, attach this. So we're just going to drill holes through each one of these and then we'll just keep attaching things. So we'll just I'm using quarter inch bolts, um, so I just got a quarter inch bit for the drill drill gun. And whatever size bit you use, obviously, you just use the same size bolt. Okay, so those are done. Um, that's great. It's so much stiffer with those on it. We'll just set this down and we know we'll have contact when we do attach those. So we'll put our screw bit in, kind of pinch these together, keep a little. And these are screws uh, I just got out of our junk drawer that uh, screws that have been around for a while. And... Cool. Okay, so that's done. Um, and it actually is pretty sturdy. I just did these by, by finger tight. And what we'll do, um, we'll just take a little glue. We'll just dab it on that thread. You don't have to go crazy. All you're doing is kind of locking that nut. So then on this layer here. Is the reason uh, we put the lemonade thing there is because it had to have a surface for it to sit on. And initially I thought we would glue it on there. But Ross um, has a better idea. Uh, we're going to put screws from the top down to that lemonade thing to hold it sturdy. Oh, that works super duper. Wow, good. that's so much better. Yeah, so the lemonade lid, the, the big idea is we are going to cut slits over the joint and then this will slide down. Then we will take this one and we will put a screw from the top down to that so that it has something to sit on as well. So Ross is going to cut those slits. Okay, so there's one slit right there. And that should actually fit nicely on that. Move this back in. Okay, there's a little ridge inside of here. I'm gonna knock that out. Okay, so there's a little ridge on the uh, lemonade lid. So I cut these little these little notches out in here too. Let's see if it fits a little bit better. Okay, so we weren't satisfied with the white on the lid um, of the lemonade container, so we had some burgundy paint. So we got that. That's dried. Uh, we're going to run a bead, bead of the glue down the slits that we made, and we're going to be really kind of liberal with that because it's. I'll make sure it gets on there and stays. All right, and then the the top layer is going to sit on that, and we're going to uh, adhere that. There's a little rim right here. We'll throw a bunch of glue on that. Looks pretty good. And we're going to throw this screw right down the center. Of it. The glue's oozing down like it should. And time to go put plants in. Time it. to put plants in. It. Yeah, let that let that cure, and time to. Time to have fun. So there you have it. This is seriously the, I, I could not even have asked 
for a better end result on this flower pot. Uh, it, it is super sturdy. Uh, it should stand up to the elements. I've moved it around a couple times for to take different pictures and stuff, and it just really is going to last and serve its purpose well. So enjoy and come back often. Thanks so much for watching DIY on the house. Mm -hmm.